Last December, economic governance in the EU took a leap forward with the introduction of the Six Pack. Six pieces of legislation which set out new rules for the conduct of economic and budgetary affairs by EU member states. This video will show how it came into being. EU legislation is initiated by the European Commission, which is the executive branch of the European Union. For it to come into effect, it must be approved by both the European Parliament, which is made up of your MEPs, and the Council, which is made up of national ministers. When the Commission issues a legislative proposal, it is sent to both the Parliament and the Council. In the Parliament, proposals are assigned to parliamentary committees for scrutiny. In this case, it was the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee, the Econ Committee. A member of the committee is assigned to author a report on the proposal. This person is called a rapporteur. In this case, the six pack comprised six different proposals. Each text was assigned to a different rapporteur. The chair of the committee may also ask other committees for their opinion and seek input from experts from civil society, academia, business and other EU institutions such as the European Central Bank. In this case, the ECB strongly encouraged the committee to strengthen the proposals in a number of ways. Throughout this process, the committee are in discussions with ministers and officials in the Council, attempting to iron out any potential disagreements at an early stage. Taking account of the various views presented, each rapporteur submits his or her draft report to the committee for discussion. After consideration, the draft report is put to the vote and possibly amended. The six-pack reports were voted on in April 2011 with a number of amendments made to each. The report is then discussed and debated in a so-called plenary session of the full parliament, amended and put to the vote. Once it has voted in this way, the parliament has adopted its official position on the matter. The six pack reports were voted on in plenary on the 23rd of June. Again, a number of changes were made to the reports. This vote allowed the parliament to adopt an official negotiating position for talks with the council, which continued throughout the summer. Meanwhile, the Council was also considering the proposals. The Council is composed of several configurations of 27 national ministers, one per member state. The configuration depends on the topic. The most important decisions are taken by the European Council, which is made up of 27 heads of state or government of the European Union. In this case, the texts were considered by the ECOFIN Council, which is composed of all the EU's finance ministers. They debated the six-pack on four different occasions, in January, February, June and July, before reaching a final position for negotiations with the Parliament. In this stage of the negotiations, the Parliament delegation was led by the Chair of the Committee, Sharon Bowles MEP, and the six rapporteurs. The Council delegation was led by the Finance Minister of Poland, Jan Vincent Rostowski. After months of negotiation, the deal was finally struck on the 21st of September. A compromise text was then sent back to the European Parliament for a final vote of approval, which was passed on the 28th of September, and to the ECOFIN Council for their final agreement, which was given on the 8th of November. After being signed by the President of the European Parliament and a representative of the Polish Presidency on the 16th of November, the legal texts were published in the official journal of the European Union on the 23rd of November. This example demonstrates some of the complexity of the European legislative process, but also how it can be remarkably efficient, even when dealing with fundamental changes to the way the Union operates.